likely been spoken for and how many are open going into August? Uh, not many. Not many. Um, I think the tight end group is a group that's fighting to get with two, two tight ends in the game. I think that's a competition battle. It is our second H receiver and our second uh, Y, if that makes sense. Um, I think uh, when you look at you know, K.J. Hill, he's, he's an incumbent. You know, he's a tremendous player. He's, he's going to be a starter for us. Uh, Thayer Mumford will be a starter for us. J.K. Dobbins will be a starter for us. Um, you know, Ben and, and Austin are going to play a lot for us and most likely start for us. And then up front, you know, that, that's a battle right there because we have a bunch of guys in there that can play. And uh, finding that out in August is going to be fun to watch because, you know, Wyatt played good down the stretch, but he still has to win that job. He hasn't won it. Um, you know, Thayer has. And then, you know, there's a bunch of guys vying for the right tackle and, and you know, center, left guard position. Ryan, Thayer is this spring. What's the update with him? I know that you guys anticipated he'd be back. But yeah. How was the summer and where is he at right now physically? Doing great. Doing great. He's back practicing uh, or, uh, you know, working out 100% right now. And, um, you know, he's ready to roll. Let's go back to the quarterback, so Ryan. I get this question all the time. So you wouldn't have gone out to get Justin Fields, somebody with his re recruiting pedigree, without assuming he was probably going to be the starter. But you, so why not say it? What's the value for you guys and to take that into go out in August and have that uncertainty? In terms of being a yeah, starter? Just like, you know, what well, because our, one of our core f philosophies is that you don't just get given the starting position. You have to earn everything you get around here. And he hasn't done that. And I think that the hard thing for everybody to realize is that he's coming off the heels of Dwayne Haskins. And so I think a lot of people think, well, uh, Dwayne, you know, went from zero to 60 so fast and he just kind of jumped into the Heisman Trophy race and that all happened. Well, that was a very different scenario than Justin Fields. Um, and so Justin hasn't won the job yet. I mean, that's the first step in all this. And I know everybody wants to get way ahead of themselves and start talking about Heisman, but how about winning the starting quarterback job first? Um, because you can't win the job when you're still running the offense. And so, you know, he learned the offense in the spring. He's got to, you know, uh, he's got to step ahead of Gunner because Gunner just got here. He didn't even go through the spring. Um, and so that, that room is really, really green. And Chris Chuganoff's going to be in there. He's going to be competing and, and fighting, uh, you know, for playing time there. So, and then Mike Yersich, you know, is, is new to our staff as well. So that, that whole room is in literally the first step of the progression. And, you know, we, we've, you know, uh, done a good job in the spring of, of picking that up. And then August is going to be big for us. August is going to be one of those times where we got to move and we, we're going to have to take uh, big steps forward. And then the first time we play in that first game, the quarterback's going to throw the first pass. And he's going to throw his first touchdown pass. And, you know, I mean, all the things are for the first time. And uh, I know it was the same way with Dwayne last year, but uh, he had been in the program. That was his third year. He also had game experience. I thought that was a unique situation as well. When you have a defense. player and then a college coach and an NFL coach, you've been in a lot of quarterback rooms. Can you put this quarterback room in context? To